Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. This video, of course, is the review. Sorry, for the Leeds United Plymouth game. Oh my god, we made that harder than what it should have been. It should have been a comfortable, easy win, in my opinion. And it nearly went all wrong um, towards the end. But let's go through the game. A great start. We looked really good in the first half. Dan James with a six thousandth thousand thousand yeah goal for the club. Six thousandth goal goes to Daniel James. A lovely finish. Can we talk about Kamara in that build up as well? Great job when. Um, Ratta went through, wanted a penalty. I think he just went down too easily. They try and clear it. Um, Kamara puts him under pressure. The ball goes to Dan James, finishes it beautifully. We're 1-0 up. Then Joel Pirro gets a goal. I'm so happy for Pirro. He needed that, you know, because, you know, he's not been great recently. He hasn't scored recently. And Somerville yet again with another assist. Can we talk about that? Somerville, another goal contribution for Somerville and for Dan James. Both of them incredible. We got those two goals, and I'm like, let's keep going. Let's get the third. And I wanted the third for the whole game, and I think everyone out there, everyone watching this, um, was like, yes, we need a third. We need a third. And we kept not getting it. Rutter had chances where Rutter should have scored one at least. Piro had a couple of chances to score a second. Did he? He didn't score one. Um, the header could have been a bit better, but it was a difficult header um, from that beautiful ball by Rutter. Rutter can do everything but shoot. Like, he should have scored today 100%. Um, still looking for his first goal at Ellen Road, but no, nah, but he should have scored Rutter. Um and then all of a sudden, it took to the 84th minute, and they scored. And you're like, oh, they're going to do this to us. Right after hearing the news that Sam Greenwood had scored for Middlesbrough to beat Leicester. Hey, we're coming for you, Leicester, by the way. And you're just like, oh, no, we're going to bottle this lead. And the points, we're not going to gain any points on them, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, we hold on. We fight to the end. We hold them out, and we win the game 2-1. Leicester City said, mind the gap last week when we beat them. I'm like, mind the gap, mind the gap. We're so far ahead of you. It's getting closer and closer and closer. The Sharks are, set, are circling. We're circling you. The, the Peacocks? The Peacocks are circling you, and you're scared. The Fox is scared in the middle because we're circling you and getting closer to you, and we're going to catch you. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, let's go through player ratings. Um, Melier, I thought, had a good performance. You know, I didn't think he had much to do. Um, he had a couple of shots to save. Nothing really um, notable, really. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with a six for him. Um, Sam Byram, I thought, played really well. I'm going to go with a seven. I think he had a good performance, Byram. I like the way he plays. And every game, he just he just looks good every game, basically. Liam Cooper, I actually want to give a massive shout out to Liam Cooper. I thought he was good today. I thought he came in. Everyone was saying before the game, oh, no, it's Cooper. Oh, no, we're going to get, he's going to make a mistake and we're going to concede. I thought he played well today. I thought he was really good today on that pitch. I thought he had a good performance, did well, did what he had to do. Whenever the ball came to him, just hoofed it out of there, cleared it away. That's what we want to see from him. Um, and I think he played well. I'm going to give him a 6.5. I don't think he was as good as Byron, but I thought he had a good performance. 6.5 for Liam Cooper. Joe Rodon, I'll give a 7. I thought he played really well. I thought Rodon, again, his pace is just so good that he can catch up to so many attackers. Like they could, You could think they're through, and then all of a sudden Rodon's bang in front of you and won the ball. Great performance. Archie Gray, I'm also going to give a 6.5. Again, thought he was good today. Thought a good performance. I thought everyone was good. I don't think any of the starters had a bad performance at all. You know, thought Archie Gray played really well. Um... Yeah, and I liked him. I liked him and Dan James. They had a great connection throughout that game, in my opinion. Really well. Um, Ethan Ampadu, again, good performance. Seven for me. Thought he played really well. Um, Glenn Kamara, I actually want to give a massive shout again because he played another really good performance for me. I think he was better than Ampadu, again, for the second game in a row, which I'm really I'm really happy for him because I think he's a good player and he's showing that every week from then, like that I've seen the last couple of weeks. He's shown that he's a good player. I'll give him a 7.5. I thought he played really well today. Um, Somerville, again, got an assist, played well, looked dangerous, as you say, every week. Looks dangerous, gets a goal or assist. But you say that kind of stuff every single week. Great performance, 7.5, have to go with it. Dan James, brilliant performance. I thought he was good out there. I thought he was dangerous, like always. That's using his pace to his advantage, really good. Took his goal really well, the finish, and an all-around good performance. I'm actually going to give him a, a 7.5 as well. I thought he played well, 7.5 will be given to Daniel James. Joel Pirro. Now, I thought Joel Pirro played better today, again. Yeah, I think he's try I think he's making that number 10 into his own. Like, he's getting the ball more. He's dropping deep and receiving the ball more. And I see him in the game more. I'm going to give him a 7 because I thought he actually played well today. He gets in play. You know, he gets in the game more. Um, And I really liked his performance. Jorginho Rata, besides his shooting, great performance. So he played well today. Going to give him a 7. Um, Great performance all around from all the boys. I actually don't know who I want to give man of the match. I actually don't think I know who got man of the match. I would like to say Dan James because he got the goal and he played well today. You could say that, but then you could also say Somerville who got an assist. Then you could say Pura because he scored as well. Then you could say Glenn Kamara because I thought he played really well. 
Who do I give it to? Who do I give my man of the match? Who do I think was the best player out there? I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to give it to Dan James. I thought Dan James played really well. I'm going to give it to Dan James. Um, yeah, we played really well today. And no surprise when we conceded um, what side it was from. Um, Junior Furpo. I just don't think he's good enough. Um, that's my opinion. Everyone can have their own opinion. I don't think he's good enough. I don't think he's proved that again. Um, he was left stranded for the goal. I'm sorry. I remember the ball was played over the top. He's nowhere near his position. He's in the middle of the pitch. I'm like, huh? Just, just behind the halfway line. Where is he? He's gone. He's not even, and he's not even tracking back trying to get there. Like he's just out of position. Nothing. Like he's out of position a lot. You know. And there was a point. There was a point. Like you're like, where the hell is he? Like. He's supposed to be back. He's supposed to trap back and defend. He doesn't defend. He can't defend. So, therefore, I know people saying, give him a chance, give him a chance. I've seen all that I want to see. I don't want to see him start a single game this season. Off the bench for 20 minutes, cool. Don't want to see him start a game all season. Just my opinion. Don't get mad. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave me in the comments section down below your man of the match and what you thought of the performance. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.